Hello and welcome back to another process video. So today I'm going to be altering some wooden pegs that my friend Nuneka had given me when I was living in Spain. So she had given me these to alter and create maybe totems or anything that I'd like to. What I have in mind is to create power animal totems or as we also call them spirit animal totems totems because these are going to be reminders of these power animals or spirit animals and the messages that they carry and I can keep them along with my tarot cards and oracle cards and just have them as some reminders of this spiritual energy in the form of animals. To begin with I am going to be coating my wooden pegs with white gesso and making sure to cover the entire surface. Once that's done and dry, next I'm going to begin adding my first layer of texture. So for this I'm going to use crackle paste and I'm using a white crackle paste by Decomedia. So with my palette knife I'm randomly applying this crackle paste onto the surface of my wooden pegs including the sides, the bottom, the top and everywhere since these are going to be three dimensional and I'd like the texture to be visible on all the sides. I leave this overnight to dry and now I begin working on my focal points. So I have chosen to use a dragonfly chipboard, a flamingo and a parrot from the Tropical Paradise Heartfelt Creation stamp and die collection and I just color these with some distress ink. Also if you enjoy such videos do let me know by liking the video that's clicking on the thumbs up and leaving a comment down below i truly appreciate you stopping by watching the video and leaving a comment it means a lot to me so thank you for that After I have colored them with the distress inks, I then apply a coat of glossy accents over them and sprinkle some fairy dust glitter just to bring in dimension as well as that sparkle. This also ensures that my paper elements as well as chipboard elements become sturdy so that when I use them as focal, they really stand out and uh, they do not crinkle. Now onto my next texture on the base, here I am just mixing some white gesso with mini art stones and again with my palette knife randomly applying it onto the wooden pegs again on all the sides. Once that's dry, time to begin colouring. So I have chosen to pick warm colours from the colour wheel slowly progressing into cool colors for each of my pegs. So for this particular peg, I have chosen shades of yellow, green and blue mainly predominantly and I just randomly add my magicals, shakers, constantly misting it with water and blending the colors to reach the desired color. I do the same thing on all the sides, making sure that different colors peek through and the blend of two or three colors forms another shade. For my dragonfly wooden peg, I decided to choose the warmer tone. So that was a palette of orange, red, um, yellow and slight green so that I can eventually get into the cooler tones, which would be this particular uh, color, the blues, greens and yellows that I've done for the parrot. Now once I've colored my base, I am using Finnabay waxes to highlight the texture of the cracks as well as the mini art stones 
and just add another level of depth and shine to my base. For my flamingo wooden peg, I've used the cool palette which is blues and purples. So here's a look at the base so far and now time to layer some elements and complete my totems. So for this I've picked out certain leaf chipboards uh, that would suit well for each of these wooden pegs and uh, to color them I am going to use Lindy's Magicals and once dry highlight them with Finnabare waxes. For uh, the chipboard that I use behind the flamingo, I'm going to use some Finnabare Art Metallic paints and highlight them with the waxes. All the colors, all the shades that I'm using are listed in the description box below. So please feel free to check that out. Once all the elements are ready, time to glue them down. So I'm just going to use some tacky glue and begin layering all of them and adhering them onto my wooden peg. I'm also using some flowers so I first glue them down onto my base and again I just go in with Lindy's Magicals or the acrylic paint to add a little shine and match their colors with my wooden bases. With that done, time for one final touch. So here I'm using glossy accents and adding the same fairy dust glitter as well as some art stones, uh, micro beads, coordinating with the colors on my wooden pegs just for an extra element of sparkle and shine. That's a look at my spirit animal totems with all the beautiful texture, color, um, I, I really love them and I hope that you do too. What I've done is I created some digital images to write down the meaning of each of these animals with some nice backgrounds as well as adding the animal onto my photo. So now I can just clip them on to my wooden peg and store them in my cupboard like I mentioned at the start of the video. So this to me is going to be a powerful reminder and something just vibrant and nice to always look at every time I open the cupboard. I hope you've enjoyed this process tutorial. Subscribe to the channel for more such inspirations. Until the next time, take care and bye-bye.